So, a couple of months ago, I filmed myself drawing an historically accurate Snow White, and although I am happy with how the drawing and the video turned out, I decided to make this video a bit different. One of the differences being that I'm actually narrating it. <laughs> In my Snow White video, I wrote a narrative of the clothing in the description below, but this time I would like to not only discuss what Merida would wear if she really lived in history, but why the original film costumes are inaccurate in the first place. Whilst discussing the film, Mark Andrews, the co-director of Brave, said that they looked at the 9th to 12th century and took all the stuff they liked and made a fantasy Scotland, implying that they weren't going for historical accuracy. But for the sake of this video and for the fun, let's look at the 11th century specifically. Before we move on to the drawing, let's discuss some of the films less accurate moments. First, we're going to talk about what is probably the most discussed inaccuracy in the film, the corset. In a couple of scenes, Merida can be seen wearing a corset, but corsets or stays didn't come into fashion until the Elizabethan era in the 1500s. Also, the corset that Merid wears seems to be that of a tight-laced hourglass corset that was fashionable in the Victorian era, almost 800 years later. Secondly, Merida has slashing on her sleeves, which reveal her smock underneath. This also wasn't fashionable until the 16th century. Although her wild red hair is probably her most recognisable feature, it would have been very looked down upon for Merida to wear her hair loose and without a head covering in public. In one scene, she does wear a wimple, a type of veil that completely covered the hair and neck. But this was only really worn by older or married women. Now, this next inaccuracy might only be a small detail but Merida's dress seems to be laced up at the front using cross-lacing. Cross-lacing wasn't actually used until the invention of the previously mentioned Victorian corset. Instead, her dress would be laced using either straight lacing or spiral lacing. And for a bonus inaccuracy, Brave features a lot of men wearing tartan kilts. Kilts, as we know them today, weren't actually worn until the 16th century, and although a form of tartan, known as Falkirk tartan, did exist by the 11th century, the tartan depicted in the film did not, until also the 16th century. I would also like to add that the idea of medieval Scottish warriors painting themselves blue is a myth. This romanticised image originates from ancient Roman accounts of half-naked savages covering themselves in blue tattoos using woad in 3rd century Caledonia, almost a thousand years before the time of Brave is set. Anyway, let's move on to the drawing. I gave my Merida a natural look, with orangey lips and cheeks similar to how she looks in the movie. Of course, not forgetting her freckles. In the 11th century, ladies usually wore their hair in two very long plaits, sometimes decorated with ribbon. I didn't give my Merida ribbons and let a few hair strands hang loose to match her playful and somewhat rebellious nature. On her head, she wears a simple white veil held in place with a gold circlet, a type of headband. Veils were staple accessories for young ladies at the time. In the film, Meredith seems to use a recurve bow, recognisable for its curved shape. Although the recurve bow did exist in the Middle Ages, I couldn't find any sources of it existing in Britain. In fact, there seems to be quite the debate online over what kind of bows would have been used in Scotland during this time. 
So I was just going to draw Merida using a longbow, a popular bow used by British yearmen. But then I had another look at the illustration of the men in Falkirk Tartan and noticed two of the men holding bows very similar to the recurve. So I decided to give Merida the same. I drew the bow to look a bit simpler to the one in the Pixar film, but I did a few carvings on the handle to represent the ones carved by Merida. I would like to mention something Brave portrayed accurately was that Merida carries her arrows on her waist. It was common in the Middle Ages for archers to carry them on their waist, not on their back, like we see in most films, but the arrows were usually carried loose or in a bag, not really a quiver, which is made of leather. Now, moving on to the dress, my Merida wears a short-sleeved dark blue kirtle, worn over another light-coloured kirtle. Kirtles were usually made from wool or linen and were usually closed from either the side or the front. The type of cloak she wears is called a brat, a long rectangular piece of fabric pinned either in the centre or on the right shoulder. I painted it a dark green colour similar to the one Merida wears in the film. Most of the historical sources for brats seem to come from Ireland, but I couldn't find exactly what type of cloaks were worn in Scotland but all the references just seem to point to Irish brats, so that's what I chose. Brooches were very popular in Celtic and Gaelic culture. The brooch I have drawn is called a penannular brooch, meaning incomplete ring. Finally, my Merida wears a brown leather belt to carry her arrows, and a gold embroidered girdle which was often worn to display wealth and status. And this is what Merida would have looked like if she had lived in Middle Ages Scotland. I'm happy with how she turned out. I like her hair and dress. I think the veil makes her look a bit like Maid Marian, but the whole point was to make her look historically accurate. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the historically accurate Merida and what other princesses you would like to see me draw next. Thank you for watching. Bye!